Imagine a customer comes to you today who wants to move to the cloud. Perhaps they want to get better insights from their business data, or they want to solve a complex problem with machine learning. Knowing how to begin that journey, or how to structure it well, can be challenging. With that in mind, I want to introduce you to the Google Cloud Professional Services Organization, or PSO. PSO's mission is to help customers and partners get the most out of Google Cloud products. So how do we do this? By dedicating our expertise to meeting customer business challenges and working with partners to support complex customer projects. This allows us to build and recommend solutions based on our proven methodologies and best practices gained from field experience. We also aim to educate customers and partners on Google products and to validate skills through certifications. A key goal throughout is to enable our partners to deliver exceptional value to customers. So, in this partnership, what role do Google and the partner play? Google provides strategic and technical best practices through PSO service offerings to our partners. Partners offer a combination of field experience, strong technical ability, and in-depth customer knowledge. They leverage the PSO services and assets to structure and guide customer projects. The pillars of PSO's business are grouped into four categories. The consulting services focus on successfully delivering specific projects and services. We have consulting service packages for both GCP and G Suite. Technical account management ensures the long-term success of our customer's journey to the cloud. Training and certification services ensure that your staff or the customers are brought up to speed quickly on the latest knowledge of Google Cloud products. And partner services focus on enabling and supporting our partners. These left three pillars are our service offerings aimed at customers. Partners may want to build a similar set of offerings in their portfolio. The partner services team is here to help them do that. The service offerings represent the short-term project, long-term advocacy, and learning perspectives of customer projects. To support the successful delivery of services, the PSO team itself is divided into practice areas, each focused on a product area or solution expertise. Practice areas develop services and assets unique to their area and customer needs. So why is this important to you? Well, it not only helps you understand how our teams are structured, but also how our services and partner specializations are categorized. For example, if you have a customer with a machine learning project on GCP, the type of best practices, watch points, and business needs will be very different from what would be needed for a customer focused on a G Suite deployment. So let's talk about the different methodologies you can use. As they are different technologies with different goals, we have separate methodologies for both GCP and G Suite. Let's take a look at how these methodologies can help you structure your cloud projects. The Google Cloud Platform methodology is based on a four-phase model of the customer's journey to the cloud. Assess, plan, deploy, optimize. During the assess phase, the customer is still questioning their readiness to move to the cloud or GCP. They require guidance to build confidence using GCP and to assess feasibility of a solution. During the plan phase, the customer is convinced GCP is right for them, but they require your expertise to plan for this journey and to help design their solution. Deploy is when you'd implement the proposed solution following Google's best practices. And in the optimize phase, when the customer already has solutions running on GCP, you bring expertise to improve and enhance existing workloads and to ensure that the customer is still getting the most out of the platform. For each phase, multiple service packages are available to help ensure you're meeting your customer where they are. The G Suite methodology is a four-phase model for customer success. Excite, enable, expand, embed. During the Excite phase, you engage with executive sponsors to understand the customer's key business objectives. By delivering workshops, you inform decisions and scope out and plan the project. The Enable phase involves the technical deployment where you migrate the customer from their legacy platform to G Suite. 
Here, you also execute on the training, communications, and support plans. The expand phase is all about growing user adoption of the G Suite services. This is done by providing training, optimizing support, and transforming business processes. Finally, the embed phase aims to solidify G Suite into the customer's business operations. By measuring impact and promoting success stories, you can help the customer to continuously innovate. This phase helps to promote new service opportunities. At each of these phases, we have different services and assets designed to ensure success on the platform with high adoption and return on investment. So where can you find the tools, methodologies and best practices needed? In Cloud Connect, the official community for Google Cloud Partners. In the professional services section, assets are shared with partners and organized by practice area. For example, for infrastructure assets, you go to that practice area and each PSO service offering, such as Cloud Start or Cloud Plan, is comprised of assets that will help you sell and deliver the service to ensure customer success. If I click into Cloud Plan Infrastructure, for example, you can see here that there are plenty of assets and documents to get you started delivering these services. You can see Cloud Connect as your main source for PSO content. But what if you need more training before you get started delivering services? The Google Cloud training site has everything for you to make the most of Google Cloud technologies. We offer learning tracks with fundamental to advanced level training courses. Let's take the Cloud Infrastructure Learning Track as an example. Here we see the Cloud Platform Architect Track, which has various courses for the different levels. Can't be there in person? You can complete some courses online and on demand. Google has teamed up with Coursera to offer Google Cloud courses online so you can skill up from anywhere. You can also click Find a Class to locate a specific instructor-led class from one of our Google Cloud authorized training partners with live and virtual options. There are also self-paced labs in the form of Quick Labs. These hands-on labs provide a cloud environment to help you learn new skills. You can practice and build experience using live cloud resources in an authentic GCP environment. Once you've gained enough experience, Google's certification program gives you a way to demonstrate your technical skills and expertise. Lack of cloud skills and knowledge is the biggest barrier to cloud adoption. Grow your skills today. So by now you have an overview of the Google Cloud Professional Services organization, its mission, structure, and methodologies and you've taken a look where you can find more resources and training to partner with Google and build your business further. Thanks for watching.